obedient to be wicked people. I will not take contact Chicago University where they take come at call open man. They tell us say they not get any vendor where they give certificate or result. Say now only they send a direct. I will not take one. <laughs> Can you allow a pop breathe? I don't tell you. Oh, but Twitter space cash fire yesterday. Now, so that they, they complain. What did they do obedient? What did they, they do like this? So, they will give oh man, go talk how they did they give Chicago University results. Obedient. I carry two and two legs and two years for now. You oh, man, like it. You will. You will. You will. You I don't get far to talk too much. Not be me, oh. Not be me, oh. Now the Twitter space, oh. <laughs> Share this thing, man, and this year. They go. Expose them. Hold your yard. Go. Whoop, whoop. Run like <laughs> During the deposition, um, the word vendor was never used in that deposition. I mean, that word in itself was never used in that deposition. But it has been misconstrued that Chicago State University have a couple of vendors off-site where students can approach these vendors to say, oh, I attend Chicago State University, and uh, please, I'm going to pay you, print a certificate for me on behalf of Chicago State University, which would mean they would have the official signature and everything, these vendors. So my question to you really is straight. Does Chicago State University have certified vendors that students are allowed to approach to, for them to print, and I mean from Chicago State University. Without the knowledge of the for school. For them to print certificates, who would automatically, after printing the certificate, would um, Chicago State University would, because one of the processes that they said they would do before they uh, print a certificate is to verify the student's record. So, my point, the question really is, does Chicago State University have certified vendor, their own certified vendor, as you, as a student now, can say, oh, instead of me to go to Chicago State University, Chicago State University have certified AAA to print certificates. So I'm going to AAA as a vendor. So let's know if that's what Bolatin would do. Are there certified vendors by Chicago State University? Okay, so that is not the process that they do. Um, if you need your diploma from Chicago State University, at the graduation, they give you the cover. They don't give you the actual certificate. They usually give you the cover. Our cover is green. It's green with gold on it. Now, if you get a master's degree, it might be different. But if you're getting your bachelor's, it's usually green with the gold lettering of the university on there, okay? You're not getting your diploma that day. You're getting the cover. And then your actual diploma will be mailed to you from the school. Now, if you want extra copies of that diploma or you lose your diploma, you go on the website. You go on the website. I don't even think they let you come to the school anymore because COVID has changed everything kind of all around the world. So they trying to do the least amount of people as possible in person. Um, and they're kind of short on personnel up there right now. You would go online, fill out that form that I spoke about earlier in the show, pay them their money, and then you either tell them I'm going to come pick it up when it is ready or you mail it to my house there is no chicago state is going to certify you and you just go over here and tell them we said you good no they, they don't do that I, I don't know of any american university that does that you go through the university that you graduated from you cannot just officially show up to a place and say csu said i'm good uh, i need y'all to print one that says this now you can do that but the university isn't going to sign off on that. And I think people need to really understand what Chicago State said in that deposition. They are not verifying the diploma that he presented to the INEC. In Nigeria, it's also an insult to our children. I've said that I have a daughter. How do I look my daughter in the eye and tell my daughter that, oh, even if you go to school, somebody will come behind and for the certificate and take something that you deserve that belongs to you because i think we have too far for too long we have excused criminality in this country 
when we see somebody from nowhere with so much money, we are asked no questions. We spend the money with the person. We do a lot of things that keep excusing criminality. And I am worried. I am worried. Because this matter is not a matter of you being a Yoruba man, Omoluabi. It has nothing to do with you being an Omoluabi, being Yoruba man, being the culture of the Yoruba people. To hell with the culture of the Yoruba people. I'm a Yoruba man. To hell with that. It is common decency as a human being. It's a common decency as a human being. And we need to act as honorable people. We need to act as honorable people. I don't have direct access to anybody to advise, but if I will advise, the honorable thing, everybody knows the honorable thing to do. Because excusing and defending rubbish, defending the indefensible, makes no sense. We can lie to ourselves, we can say things to want to convince ourselves. To me, because when I see here a lot of defense, it's like they are speaking to themselves, they are trying to convince themselves. They know the truth. So why would I go ahead trying to lie to myself? The biggest lie any man can do to himself is lying to himself. Me, I will never be part to lying to myself. No matter how the truth is, please tell me, I want to hear it. It's hurtful, it's painful, but it needs to be said. And the truth has been said several times. And me, I stand with Nigeria. And I pray we'll do the right thing. I pray, because if they don't do the right thing, the precedent they are laying for us is very dangerous. It is very, 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 very dangerous. We can excuse a lot of things, so we can excuse a lot of things. But this one, oh, ha, it's difficult for me to excuse. My mindset, that's what I meant to say. I know you wanted me to say it directly, but this is the best I can say. The last time I said some things, I know the amount of phone calls and backlash I got, so I will end it here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. White. You see, um, I, I, when I used to say on this platform that, that um, you know, there are some, somebody in APC, I disagree with him, you know, we have our disagreement, but at least there are some things I can say about this person that he stands for a better Nigeria. And some of um, some individuals were not comfortable with that when I make reference to Mr. White. And I, I said that to um, some other person as well. When we had a problem on...